Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time today. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Bondi Sands Everyday Liquid Gold Gradual Tanning Dry Oil. So I had actually tried this product after somebody suggested to me in the comments of one of my other videos to try one of the dry oils to extend your tan. And I went onto the Bondi Sands website. It was $22. I was gonna purchase like a regular dry oil, but I've been on kind of like a gradual tanner kick because for one, they're awesome for anybody who wants to tan if you've never tanned before. It's not something that you have to use a product like this underneath or anything like that. It's something that you could use one application, build it to the color that you're comfortable with rather than slapping on a tan and then it's no changing it. So it's a really diverse product. It could be used for somebody like me that wants to build their tan farther and extend it. Right now, I had did my tan four days ago. I have three applications of this built up currently. I will post like a picture in the video with like a, um, a product build up to where it did go throughout the week. I've been using this product now for two weeks because I really like to fully test out the products before I make a video or review on them so I can make sure like it's an accurate representation of the product itself. So the directions for it are pretty simple. It says step one, for an even streak-free tan, ensure your skin is clean and dry prior to application. So just take a shower, make sure you're fully dried off in the shower if you wanna shave and exfoliate your elbows or any dry patches. That's usually what I'll do. Um, not so much when I use this tan product for the first time, because usually I'm already shaved and exfoliated from my tan prior. But if you haven't did that, I would probably suggest to do that at least a little bit on your elbows and hands, just so it's even and nicely applied. Step two, it says apply everyday liquid gold evenly onto the skin in a circular motion. Wait until touch dry before dressing. It is a dry oil, so it does dry pretty quickly. I've actually read that people will use this product and go to the gym and not have to worry about it because it's not something that's gonna like drip if you sweat because it does absorb into your skin. Um, that's one thing that I was a little bit worried about with this product is the fact that it's an oil. So I was worried that if I were to put it on and rub it in with my hands, it would soak in and give me that like crazy looking tan hand, but it didn't do that at all. I had used the mitt for so long with the Everyday Gradual Tanner that I was skeptical for the first time to use that one without it. But after using that one without the mitt and seeing that it was okay on my hands, I decided I'm gonna try this one right from the get-go that way. So I do wanna just show you how I apply it. Usually what I will do is I will just take my favorite moisturizer and apply it to my hands as well as my elbows, probably my ankles and feet as well, and then just a little bit left that's left over onto my knees. So now that we're prepped, I am gonna show you how simple it is. The one thing that I do like is the mist is such um, a fine mist that it really covers a lot of the area. So, and then circular motion. I always avoid my elbow until the end and then I just kind of like sweep over it, put it on the tops of my hands, make sure I rub it in. And it's seriously easy as that. I will not leave it on my hands. The next step on the bottle, it does says use daily to ensure golden tan throughout the year. Wash hands after use because I don't have a sink accessible. I'm just gonna use a baby wipe for now and then I'll wash my hands after I finish filming the video. And what I'll do is usually I will wash my hands and then afterwards I'll go in with my moisturizer and I'll just apply it to my hands. And you don't wash all the way up here, so I just kind of blend that down so I get the slightest bit of tan on the top of my hand. I do wanna show you the mitt application as well, just because I do feel like some people are more comfortable with applying the mitt. It is super simple with that too. And then you don't necessarily have to wash your hands after the use. I will say if you want to have your tan hands just a little bit darker, apply it with a mitt everywhere, because then you could put a little bit more on your hands without having to rinse the product off. So what I'm gonna use is the Bondi Sands Mitt. 
I'm just going to, ooh, my hands are a little bit slippery from the lotion. So I'm just gonna spray it down my arm. Ooh, I kind of put a lot more on, sorry. <laughs> I smelt it because I do use this mitt with the foam as well. And that one does have an undertone to it, like a color guide. And I don't wanna accidentally use that side because I just did my tan a couple days ago, like I said. And then just wipe over your arm. And then when you do your hands, just make sure you go over the top of the hands in between the fingers. Sometimes you could even wipe off your knuckles and stuff like that, just so that if you want to, you don't necessarily have to, but if your hands are a little bit drier, sometimes it does help to just wipe off the knuckles a little bit. And then I use a part of the mitt that didn't actually touch the tan and I'll just blend it in just so that I don't have like white spots. But this tan is so gradual, you don't have to worry about that. So um, don't use that as something that discourages you because that's just what I'm used to because I tan with other kind of tanners. So it's just kind of a part of my routine. So back to what it says on the bottle is it says Bondi Sands Innovative Dual Action Gradual Tanning Formula provides a deep, long lasting, natural looking tan that hydrates the skin with every application. Like I said, it is an oil, so it does really hydrate your skin. It's not something that you put on and then you can't get dressed shortly afterwards. I usually put this on at night and then I will sleep in it, wake up in the morning, take a shower and then fully moisturize because that gives it enough time to develop. I don't think that you necessarily have to do that. You can use this product in the morning and then go throughout your day. It doesn't have a very strong scent to it, so it's not gonna be something that gives you a headache or that you're cringing at all day long smelling. The color of it is kind of like a golden tan. It's really nice though. I like olive-based tanners. I know for sure this is a olive-based tan because of the fact that I used it last night and I didn't lay a towel down. I'll probably suggest that as well because if you don't, um, this morning when I woke up and I went into my bathroom, from spraying it and the mist going other places, my tan my floor was a little bit green on my white tile. tile. But the one thing that I do like is that like if on your sheets and stuff, if you do end up getting a little bit of transfer, which I never really do with this product, um, which is great. So it's not necessarily something you do have to worry about it, but if it does get on your clothes or something, you could just wash it and it'll wash right out. But yeah, really this tanner is so easy to apply. I think it's actually easier to apply than the everyday gradual tanning milk. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards and you really wash them between your fingers so that you don't end up having uh, any spots on it. This spot I did miss just a little bit. I don't know if you could see that, but I have a little bit of a spot right there. It's not noticeable, so it's okay. But that does tell me that if you don't fully wash your hands, you could end up having a little bit darker areas that you don't really want. But yeah, so this product's super awesome. I will continue to use it. I also will repurchase again. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, you could like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, YouTube, I'll see you later.